In this tutorial, we're going to do a quick peek at the color picker that comes with Microsoft's Power Toys. So I install Power Toys. Uh, you can see here that there's a color picker feature. And then these are all the things you can do. Let's look at those. Uh, so you can enable it, obviously. Um, I just kept the Windows default uh, shortcut there, that Windows Shift C. And then you can see there's all sorts of other things that you can enable in here. Let's go ahead and look at how this works. So I'm going to be in Storyline. A lot of times I'm working in an e-learning course and I want to pick a color from an image. Uh, maybe it's a brand image or whatever. Um, so what I'm going to do is hit the window shift C and that opens up the color picker. You can see now it's available here. And then uh, let's say I want to get in really close on an image. So I can get close to the image and then just use my wheel and I can move in and out. And so I can get to a very specific uh, color if I need to. I'll go ahead and select this. That's going to open up the editor. As you can see, it's pretty simple. I'm going to get my hex code. I can copy that. One of the things I really like about it is um, that it gives me a range of color. So for example, if I'm building something in Storyline and I have a shape and I want that shape filled with the main color, I can do that. But then maybe I use it like a slight color shift there as the border or something like that. If you click in the color, that opens up an editor. Um, so you can edit those colors if you want to. And then if you click on this, this will open up the uh, Power Toys. So that's kind of working on my desktop. So um, I'm not confined to working just within a Storyline or any type of application. It's really anything on my desktop. And if I switch over to Rise, for example, let's say I'm in Rise. I'm going to close this out. And I've got this block here and I want this block to be a certain color. Um, what I can do is if I go to edit here and then I go to my settings, uh, you can see I've got my color option. I'm going to select that and then uh, I've got my hex code. So I want to pick a new color, right? So let's, uh, we'll just grab this orange. We'll grab this blue that's on here. So I'm going to do Windows Shift C. That opens up the um, color picker. I'm going to go ahead and select this blue, copy that. All right, now I'm going to come back to Rise. And uh, we'll close this out. And then uh, let's go ahead and change this color here in the background. And then you can see I can just paste that in there and then I'm done. So easy peasy. Uh, what's really nice about this color picker is you kind of have one color picker and it works for your desktop, works for your browser based stuff. In the past, I was using Color Cop or I was using this browser based extension, which is fine, but color picker. Uh, it was, looks really nice, easy to use, and always available to me. So hopefully that's something uh, that you can find value in as well.